Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at the latest Microsoft Launcher 5.0 update for Android. This is the latest beta version of the launcher which is packing lots of new changes and enhancements. Let's take a look. Okay, so the biggest update to this version of the Microsoft Launcher is the new feed page. Microsoft has categorized the feed page into three tabs, Glance, News, and Timeline. Yes, Timeline is now here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But first, let's take a look at what the Glance area is. Glance gives you a quick overview of all of your widgets, just like the old feed did. It has your recent activities, Cortana, and any other widgets you want to put in there. Uh, so the news widget is gone, it's now a tab and it gives you a list of all of the latest news which you can customise. So you can jump into settings, you can change your interests, what you like and dislike. So if you uh, don't like fashion, you can turn off fashion for example and that won't show up in your news feed. Then we've got timeline. This is the same timeline experience you find on PC today and it syncs across all of your devices. So for example, if you're browsing the Web3 Edge on your PC, you'll see that same activity show up on your phone in the Microsoft Launcher and you can then tap on it to pick up where you left off. Same goes for documents. Uh, if you have a Word document open, for example, on a PC, you'll see that same timeline activity on your phone and if you have the Word app installed on your phone, you'll be able to launch it straight from your phone as well, which is pretty nice. The top of the glance page where you're profile is has also been updated as well it looks a lot nicer the search bar has been slightly refined and everything just looks a little cleaner and well put together which i think is very nice you can also now customize the positions of the tabs so if i hold down on glance and drag it over to the right you can see that i can move it and i can move it back if i want to as well Overall, this is a great update for the Microsoft Launcher. Uh, still no to-do support. It still syncs with Wonderlist for some reason. Microsoft does say that they're working to fix this and at some point to-do integration will show up. But for now, um, that's still not there. Everything else is looking pretty nice. This is available as beta right now. So if you're beta testing the app on Android, you should be receiving this update today. And that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.